Hey everybody, so this is one of those fun projects that I was telling you about in the last video. We're waiting on a delivery of three custom aquariums for a local elementary school that is starting a marine biology program. Actually, they started it last year, but with COVID, we had to kind of put a hold on some of the tanks, and now we're getting them set up again. These are really cool teaching tanks. They're biotope aquariums, which is something that I love to do, because after you've set up a bunch of reef tanks, um, it's it's kind of good to give yourself a challenge to make it more interesting and that's what we're doing here so we're setting up a seagrass biotope a mangrove biotope a near shore reef biotope and then there's a touch tank uh, but anyway really cool project stay tuned So all the tanks just came in. We're really excited. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us and we're yeah. gonna start uh, the process of getting them set up and bringing yeah. them into the school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is probably the last opportunity that we'll have to actually talk the next time that you see us and we're working on these tanks. It's gonna be a busy school day and we'll just do voiceovers. But this tank is going to be a mangrove aquarium and we're going to have uh, tidal influence as well in the aquarium. So the kids will be able to see the behavior of animals like fiddler crabs and mangrove crabs and things like that, um, nereid snails that like to uh, come out of the water for brief periods of time. This aquarium is going to be a seagrass display and uh, eventually they're gonna have very charismatic seagrasses in here. We're just waiting on the AFFFF, which should hopefully be coming out soon. All right, how many gallons is this one? Oh, 60 gallon, 120 gallon, 180 gallon near shore reef. And then we got the 80 gallon touch tank. That's in the other classroom. Mm -hmm. Cool.
Stoa grandis. And so those are the largest uh, zoanthids. And they're Caribbean, so they're local. Very low. And this is a specific type of urchin? Yeah, long spine urchin, the diadema urchins. Those are the same ones that uh, in the 90s they were hit with a virus. Oh, really? So their population was basically 99 plus percent of them died off oh, within wow. a year. And they were the dominant herbivores on the Caribbean reefs. So Ooh. Caribbean reefs really suffered after that. Wow. At the end of the day at the school, we set up the mangrove aquarium, the seahorse aquarium, also the touch tank, which is in a teacher's classroom down the hall from here. But we have water and sand in here. It's cycling with ammonia chloride. In a couple, uh, couple weeks, we'll be adding livestock.